I'm Dean Travis Clark, the host of Sport Fishing TV, and I'm here with Chris Cato from Shakespeare Marine and Tennis. And Chris, these days nobody wants to leave home without their TV. They have sports, they have their game shows, whatever. Most people think that in order to take TV on their boat, they need to spend a fortune on some huge satellite antenna with a big dome and where am I going to put it? That's not really true, is it? Not true at all, Dane. As a matter of fact, we've got a very good selection of antennas that for local broadcasting that they can choose from depending on the size and depending on the area that they're going to be mounting the antennas. So that's all your major networks then, and that's covering an awful lot. That's correct. Now, I see you have three antennas here. What do people need to know in order to select the right antenna for their boat? Well, first of all, they have to take into consideration the location. How much room do they have to mount the antenna? And we have one that's 21 inches, then we have a 14 inch and another 14 inch. And they just have to make sure that they can accommodate that sizing, first of all, and then the bells and the whistles that go along with it. So if they want the capability of a gain control like this one, where they can turn the signal up or down to a usable level, they can get something like that, or they can get something more simple that basically just has the amount already established in the antenna. Well, give me a quick run through of what each of these antennas is. All right, we have a model number 2020, which is basically going to be your general reception capabilities and those people that don't have a lot of space that they can put up a larger antenna for better performance. If somebody wants the same application with a gain control, they can get our model number 2025, which has the built-in gain control. And that gain control can do two things for them, actually. First of all, it has a built-in AB switch. So if they come up to a marina where they want to hook into satellite or cable, they can run that directly into the gain control, and then they can switch back and forth between the two. And then also with this, it can run off of AC or DC operations. So they can power it off the boat's battery when they're off. If they come into the marina, then all they need to do is just plug into the marina and it automatically switches the power over for them. Oh, clever. Automatically. They don't have to think about switching something That's else correct. over. That's great. Now, I see also that you have a bunch of accessories here. Give me a quick tour of those. Some of the accessories that we're going to have are, for an example, our model number 4366, which is this one. This is a sailboat mast mount for these two antennas right here. It comes with a standard 1-inch 14-thread bolt that goes onto the bottom just like this, and then the antenna screw down on top mm -hmm. to hold it in place. And then we also have another mount, which is our model number 4365. This mount is just a straight mount, so if they have an arch or a T-top that they want to put the antenna on, they can just mount this and then screw the antenna directly on top of it. And each of these antennas, by the way, does come with its own parts. For an example, this one will come with the gain control, the power supply, and the cabling. These two come with the same thing, power supply, cabling, and connectors as well. So, in other words, these are so simple that anyone with even modest skills can install this themselves. Absolutely. The, the ease and convenience of these antennas is to make sure that the user or the consumer can install them themselves. Without okay, one last question. We have digital TVs, and I can tell you that in my house, I have several TVs that are not digital. Does that make any difference? Do they have to worry about it? It does make a difference. If the TV is not digitally ready, then they'll have to get a converter box so that that converter box can change those digitals over to analog so the older TVs can accept them. If they have newer TVs that are digitally ready, plug and go. Just plug and play. Well, you can get more information on all of these antennas at shakespeare-marine.com.